Hello and welcome back to Quarantine Hair. So it's like four in the morning, so I'm gonna be a little quiet. I was looking for spirit boxes, like, um, you know, you, they scan through radio frequencies and you um, pick up voices and stuff like that. I was looking for those kind of spirit boxes. And then I came across this. Um, so this is a mystery spirit box with paranormal spirit surprise box with an enchanted figurine. Uh, it is seventeen fifty right now um, with eight dollars shipping. Um, <laughs> it ends in five and a half hours. I placed one bid on it. Um, seventeen fifty one. So let's go ahead and look for the uh, description of this item. Hello. My name is Dave. Hi, Dave. Uh, I help my friend Tiffany, who is a witch and a paranormal investigator, find and rehome lost spirits. Because that's what they need, rehoming. This surprise box contains one haunted doll and one enchanted figurine. What is an enchanted figurine? The story for the doll will come with it. I have good spirits and bad ones. So you tell me what you would rather have. Thank you and best wishes, David. Surprise, you got a demon. eBay forbids sale of intangible items. So this is like the disclaimer, um, untangible items being a spirit. Uh, this is for entertainment. You may or may not have the same experience as I've had. So before I placed the bid, uh, I had no idea that uh that's what that said <laughs> so uh we will see what happens so honestly i didn't think i'd be showing you this um this is uh my congratulations email saying that i have won the doll i did not expect this i thought maybe you know how ebay works if you've ever bought from ebay what usually happens is you would bid on something at the very last second. Somebody's going to bid on it, and they just take your place. But I won, and we will see uh, what is that about and how that goes. So I will see you in a few weeks. Oh, hi. Hey, are you Travis? Yeah. I have a package here for you. What is this? Um, I don't know. There you go. Goodbye now. I must go back to work. Well, it's addressed to me. Let's go check it out, I guess. Hi. So it's about a week later. I'm in different clothes. I'm in a different room. But I wasn't joking, this actually is the box that the, the haunted doll came in. Uh, this Texas Toast box. As you can see, I already went through it and opened it. And we'll get to that in a second. So, let's just uh, get into it, huh? Okay, so, this, as you saw, was bought off of eBay. <laughs> and I was very confused when it arrived so this is by David Durbeck Durbeck I don't know if this guy is serious I don't know if he just got these things off of I don't know if he got these things from like a thrift store or whatever and he decided to sell it for a couple couple bucks um, by a couple bucks I mean like $20 um, and he just makes up the story. He could just be making up the same story for each one. Um, and he handwrites his stories. So, we will, uh, we'll get into that. Hello, my name is David and I help a friend Tiffany who is a witch and paranormal investigator find and rehome lost spirits. Megan was given to me from the witch that Tiffany from a witch that Tiffany does spells and enchantments with. I asked the witch to give me some healing spirits to, to help with those hand, those hand, 
those hand times. Hard times. Megan is one of them. The witch summoned Megan a year ago and has let different people with illnesses use her to help them. Megan in life was a farmer's daughter growing up in the West. She first discovered her gift of healing one day on the farm. One of the cows was very ill. So this reading went on for some time. Basically, she healed the cow. She healed her dad from like liver cancer or something. And then she died of old age. And that's it. Well, ain't that the story? Um, so I'm sure y'all are ready to meet Megan, this haunted doll. Um, before I do, I would like to show you the, um, this here is the enchanted figure that is supposed to bring good luck and good fortune to all of those who possess it. Alrighty. I'll just put her there. And that's Megan. That's that's her. That's the girl. Okay, so there aren't any reviews on the haunted dolls, uh, so I might be the first. Um, so let's figure out if this doll is actually haunted. Uh, best way we can do that is we can set up this mel meter here we can also set up this k2 meter here and we can just ask a few questions megan if you're here megan if you're here Megan, can you bring that up to yellow for me? Thank you, thank you. Is your name Megan? Can you bring it to yellow if you lived on a farm? Did you live on a plantation? Megan, would you like to talk through the spirit box? Hello? Is Megan here? And you're over there now. So what can we conclude from all of this? Maybe this guy wasn't lying. Maybe Megan actually isn't the doll. Um, if you like this kind of content and you want me to review like haunted items or whatever, let me know and I will get more and we'll look at them together. Now Megan has stopped setting off the K2 meter but before, didn't, um, I, I tried this, like as soon as I got Megan, I tried this, and it just didn't work. She just didn't light anything up. Uh, I'll go over that audio, and I'll listen to that, and see if I can hear anything in there. Uh, maybe I will, maybe I won't, who knows? You'll know after I'm done listening to it. Going on a ghost hunt soon, uh, to Alton Bridge, or the... Goatman's Bridge. If you want to see that, um, just stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have plenty more on the way. This was my very first video on YouTube, so if you liked it, go ahead and press like uh, and subscribe if you want. If you don't like it, go ahead and press dislike and let me know why and let me know what you would like to see so I can cater to y'all. Alright, well, thank you all for watching this video, and I will see you later.